Okay. So how did do you now get into ministry? How did I get into ministry? I had done many things before. I had, as I said, said earlier, I had gone back to school. I had done everything. I had gotten into uh, college. I had gotten into cleaning toilets, cleaning cars, worked in the industrial area, done a lot of things, hawked and sell, sold earrings on the street. I had done a lot of things with my life. But now, something happened when I had already become, I had already gotten into marketing. Now, from the marketing field, I got into the business. And at that time, something happened and I decided to get saved. Mm -hmm. It was very difficult for me to get saved because at the same time, I had also gotten heavily involved in satanism. What sort of satanism? Oh, deep, 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 deep. So now here, I'm in satanism. I've gone into the world of witchcraft and I'm hearing, I want to give my life to Jesus. And those who are mentoring us those days, those who we would call our seniors in the world, in the, in the kingdom of Satan, those ones, they told me there is nothing salvation here. You try to get saved, we will kill you. But I was determined, I need to get saved. In fact, they told me within six days, just less one day, less than a week, you're not going to be in this world. Now me, the more they threatened me, the more I got determined. Then within those six days, I'll get saved. With, but, with, with, with the satanism, is it something that you had gotten into intentionally or you just found yourself there? When I was a very young girl, we lived next to the church. So when I was a very young girl, myself and my sister had gone to a particular church. That's why me, I say Christianity is not purely religion. Christianity is being born again, knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and serving God. Now for me, when I was a small girl, we had gone to a particular church, a mainstream, and uh, we told the vicar we want to get saved. Imagine the guy just looked at us and said, we are too young to understand salvation. Now at that point, what I did not know, we were desiring to get saved because in the spiritual realm, remember we live in two worlds. There is the real world and then there is the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, the devil was also pursuing our lives. It is later after that, a few months after that, that my sister really went and did everything wrong that can be done and I went on the other side and did anything that I thought was demonstrating serving the devil. I, I literally just, even the little religion that was in me going to Sunday school on Sunday. Was all removed. All removed. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we all went full blast into hell. And to cut a long story short, when this time around I desired to get born again as an adult, I was determined. But now I was wondering, where do I go? My memory tells me one day I went to a church and nobody wanted to listen to me. So now where do I go? And I started praying. The little prayers I could pray. I said, God, I want to get saved, but I don't know how to get to you. I don't know how people get born again. So what do I do? As the Lord would have it, somebody brought me a pamphlet. There was a crusade somewhere. And I went to this crusade. And the preacher had happened to be in satanism and got born again. So I listened to his testimony, and it was so similar to mine. I thought, he knows everything I do. And as the Lord would have it, the guy had a word of knowledge. But that day, you know, I didn't know anything about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So that day, he calls me out with a word of knowledge. And instead of going towards him, I ran away. I literally just took off. But God was merciful. So I continued praying. And the following day, I went for that crusade, listened to the preacher. And as soon he said, there is a lady here who God is going to save. And God is going to use her mightily. So this time... He called me out and he said, the ushers, go bring her, she's there. And you know, I was wearing a, a, a pink skirt and a light blue blouse. And said, she's that one with a pink skirt and a light blue blouse. You know, I wanted to go under. Yeah. So the ushers come for me and the preacher just gave me his phone number and said, call me. So I went, I called him and he spoke to me and prayed for me for hours. So that was your turning point. I never still got saved. Okay. Spoke to me, prayed for me for hours and left me to the Lord. The following day, I'm seated in my office. I had a huge business, import and export. I'm seated in the office, transacting business, and all of a sudden, the presence of the Lord came down. And I started weeping, repented my sins, gave my life to Jesus, got born again right there, and on made a, on my own, and made a deal with God. I'm getting saved, not only to come to heaven, but also to preach the gospel. I will serve you. That was my turning point now. Mm -hmm. I got saved there. Then I remembered the preacher, called him and told him, hey, I got saved. He said, fine, now we start from there. Okay. And that's how I got into a good church. 
got into college. Now, now my life turned around. Mm -hmm. I even decided business can wait. Mm -hmm. I want to preach the gospel. And I started training. And uh, here I am, Bishop okay. Margaret. So ma many people get saved and don't end up being a bishop or a pastor or yes. whatever. So how did you get to leadership in church? Leadership in church started immediately six months after salvation. I did a six months training. And then after that, as we were graduating, we were asked if anybody would like to serve the Lord immediately or do you want to wait? And the, the, the course was not over. So we were still continuing. But as we did with the first phase, me, I decided I want to serve the Lord as I continue. And that's how I started serving God. I got into church leadership and I loved it. And remember when I got saved, I made a, I made a deal with God. I want to be a preacher. I want to preach the gospel. Within six months of salvation, I had hit the streets preaching the gospel all over. And God has been gracious. I can't regret. God has done me good.